The process of port mirroring means that we are going to configure our switch so that if traffic goes into the switch, we're going to, of course, send that traffic on its way. But we're going to take a copy of that traffic, and we're going to mirror it out another port. We're going to send it out an extra port that we might have on our switch. This is referring to the physical ports on a switch. It's not referring to the TCP or UDP ports that you may have looked at in the past. This is something that is also not available on all switches. Hopefully, there is a port mirroring function on your switch, but there's no requirement that a switch enable that functionality. And some Sometimes you can only do one mirror on a switch. Sometimes you can only do two. Sometimes you can only do traffic in one direction or another. So it may not also be a full-blown switch mirroring functionality either. There are different terms depending on what different manufacturers you might run into. For instance, Cisco calls their port mirroring function a SPAN. That stands for Switched Port Analyzer. If you, for instance, look at a 3Com switch, they refer to this as a roving analysis port or an RAP. And usually, this is a monitoring feature that gives you just good enough functionality to plug into and watch communications going on between devices using a third-party analysis tool. You don't have to then put a connection or a piece of hardware in the middle. In fact, the people that are doing the communication don't even know that you are performing this type of monitoring function. It can sometimes, however, be difficult to take a normal full duplex connection and squeeze it into a connection that's all going to go down to a single analyzer. Occasionally Occasionally, you will have packet drops when that occurs. And because of that, you may still want to have the option of plugging in a physical tap. That way, you can be assured that you won't lose any traffic on this. And if you are running into situations where your span or your, your port analysis feature or your port mirror feature is not working the way you'd like, perhaps you'd like to have that hardware available as a last ditch effort. Once you get into your switch and you reconfigure the settings, you may want to tell it, take anything that's going from this server to the switch and make a copy over to the analyzer. And also take information that's coming from this laptop and also make a copy of port mirror to the analyzer as well. And what will happen is the server sends traffic into the switch. The switch has now been configured to not only send the traffic on its way, but also make a copy and send that to the analyzer. And as traffic is sent from the laptop, the switch will also make copies of that to the server and both to the analyzer as well. So it's a very easy way to plug into your network with an analyzer to be able to look at response time analysis, understand the way applications are working, understand exactly the way your traffic is performing, all without making any physical changes to your network and all behind the scenes using this switch mirroring function. So as you can see, with the right configurations on your switch, you can easily plug in an analyzer, and you can examine bandwidth, the performance and response time of an application. You can see exactly the traffic that the application is sending back and forth, and many other things just by having this port mirroring function built into your switch. And this is going to allow you to seamlessly, behind the scenes, without anybody knowing you're there, be able to understand better about what's happening on your network. And if you need to be able to perform any quick analysis, it's a very, very simple way to do it, all by using this port mirroring function.